Hello everyone. So five reasons why you are not in union as yet. Number one, you are not making God as your source. So what do you mean by you're not making God as your source? So let's find out more. So basically, you are still looking outside for love. You're still looking outside of you. You're still looking for that love from your twin flame or still waiting for it that it will come from somewhere. Somebody will come and save you. Uh, it's actually waiting for your twin flame to love you is victimhood. You are waiting for a savior to come and save you. Whereas God is your source and God can flow through you. So God is also not going to be like a Santa Claus or some hero who is going to come and save you. But God is your source, which means you can claim your power back and allow God to flow through you, change your patterns and love yourself. So how do you bring God to yourself? You go to your traumas, you go to your pain, you go to difficult places within you and bring God there by loving yourself there. So God is a good feeling. What we call God uh, is actually a good feeling. It's a good energy. So imagine somebody in good feeling, good energy all the time, happy, wonderful. Well, why wouldn't their divine lover be naturally be attracted to that happy person, right? Why would anybody want to come to a broken vase and touch it and possibly get their hand hurt or cut by the broken vase, right? So which one do you want to be? The broken uh, glass vase, which could possibly cut your twin flame, that's why they don't want to come close to you or else you want to be the healed happy person. So to be the healed happy person, you will have to choose God as your source. So when you choose God as your source, naturally your twin flame will be able to come close to you. So if you want your twin flame, who do you go to? You go to God. Claim your twin flame from God because the universe, God, divine, whatever you want to call it, created the two of you together as one. So go back to that energy, the supreme energy, the source to claim your twin flame. Don't go to your twin flame and, and ask them, please claim me. No, you go claim your twin flame from the divine energy, from God by bringing love to yourself. So this is number one, very strong point we have started with. Stay tuned till the end because if you manage to face down all these five points, union will be yours undoubtedly. So blaming, taking things personally. This is the next one. So if you're blaming your twin flame for the triggers, now they come close to you, they talk to you and they trigger you, you are blaming them for it that, oh, he did this to me, she did this to me, he didn't contact me, he contacted me, he spoke to me and then he said this and I felt bad. So you don't have to take responsibility for their actions. Like, let's say they were not compassionate to you or not nice to you in some angle. Don't take responsibility for that, okay? But you need to take responsibility for how you felt. Did you feel hurt? Did you feel sad? Did you feel unsupported? Did you feel like you have a partner who is not going to be there with you? So if you felt that, Step two, you go into step two of mirror exercise and you support yourself. You bring God there. You invite God there and you claim from God again. God, I claim a twin flame who will support me, who will be there with me or who will communicate with me regularly or who will stay connected to me, whatever your block is. Right. So you go claim that from God. God, allow you to flow through my twin flame right what better way than asking god to flow through your twin flame then if you have your divine version of your twin flame they will not be mirroring too many uncomfortable things to you so if they mirror the good part is that it is a place in you to heal and they are created for your ascension journey so you need to know that it is just another place to heal 
and move forward and bring love and grow in your union any problem between the two of you all is a problem in the union itself it is not separate from you or them it is not separate from you or your twin flame it is one problem part of the union problem trouble separation problem so that is what you need to heal you don't need to look at what he did what you did maybe you also behaved badly to them you don't need to take guilt for that you just see it as a union problem and heal it your twin flame cannot go anywhere they are one with you so just keep healing the union problems it's a union problem that's all it is so that understanding will take you a really long way and faster into union then not able to have faith in your oneness that is another thing so that is the third point that not able to have faith in your oneness so you have felt like around 1000 times probably that they are one with you you have felt it you know it because majority of the times when i ask my clients that okay can you feel your twin flame is one with you and they're like yes yes but <laughs> they don't have faith in their own feeling it's almost like okay do you feel hungry yes and then after some time are you sure you're hungry i don't know maybe but my stomach is growling <laughs> like it's not like you know you're not believing your own feeling right you're not having faith in your own feeling <laughs> well you can feel that they are one with you means that's true that's real your feeling is real you feel cold it's real you feel hot it's real you feel tired it's real you feel hungry it is real you feel oneness with your twin flame it is real have faith in that the more you have faith faith is key to you having faith that you are one and you know believing in that holding on to faith is key in union so do watch out for that like don't doubt your oneness let go of any doubts there and understand that you know yes you are one with your twin flame and just believing okay like Mm, what do you say your twin flame behaved to you badly uh, or behave or told you something or triggered you know that he is you or she is you and you choose no i choose a twin flame who will love me this way it's going to change because they are you your choices are the same so that sort of faith in oneness that he or she is you is very important to understand so when something goes wrong in the union when something goes wrong between the two of you well they are mirroring you let's say they have blocked you so simple he is you she is you where have you blocked yourself and why is that you can't change from that why is that you cannot move that block what is the reason why are you holding on to it so these are the things just that understanding oh he is me then why is this not moving right if you look within it will move and now the fourth one is i've written it down so uh, so that i can hone it down and it's easier for you all to understand uh, not taking responsibility for how you feel and yes not doing mirror exercise so not taking responsibility for how you feel is a big deal of course because if you don't take responsibility for how you feel you are neglecting yourself now your twin flame said something bad to you or your parents said something bad to you or your neighbor said something bad to you or your boss said something bad to you and you felt bad you felt um uh, like insulted or disrespected let's say it's just an example all our example hypothetical everybody's experience will be different so let's say you felt disrespected or uh, you know things like that then if you are not going to take responsibility for that disrespect disrespected feeling i'm not saying take responsibility for the way that person treated you that person treated you badly next time please keep boundaries or do whatever feels right in your heart to keep yourself safe but what i am saying is that disrespect what you felt it is your feeling you felt it just like i feel hungry 
so just like that you felt the disrespect so if you're not going to look at that disrespect what is going to happen it's going to remain there and more people are going to disrespect you in your reality because it's just going to be mirrored back to you again and again and again till you heal it right so it's very important to learn how to take responsibility for your feelings if you take responsibility for your feelings you are in charge of your life then then nobody else will be able to disrespect you because you healed the disrespect within you are in charge of your life then you can go heal the disrespect and choose i choose to be highly respected and loved and you will attract people who will highly respect and love you don't you see your power right so when you do not take responsibility for your feelings then you're giving away your power you're giving away power to the regular like you know life to just happen to you life to just happen to you you're not a creator of your life then life is just happening to you as per your situation somebody disrespected you okay uh, you go have a nice cup of tea and drink coffee and go go for a pedicure and a facial and you're like oh i feel so good right now now i won't be disrespected no <laughs> a lot of people think that much self care will do to heal the disrespect sorry you have to go within and there will be a part probably in childhood who felt disrespected which you will have to heal uh it could be a trauma for all you know so just giving yourself a pedicure or a spa is not going to change your disrespect it's just a temporary feel good factor So I'm not saying like you know don't go do spas and all that. I love self care. I love spas, so I do that very often. Uh, but it should be from a place of love, not from a place of avoidance. Uh, so if you're taking that's not self care then. When you're just avoiding the whole issue, you're not wanting to face the upset, and you're just going and doing a facial or something like that. You understood? So. let go of avoiding stay and choose to take responsibility for yourself so that's how, that's what self care is there's a lot of misalignment to self care so understand what is true self care if you do not feel your feelings you're self sabotaging yourself now you avoid this terrible incident and you go give yourself like you go for a movie or you go out with your friends and have a drink uh, and then you come back ha 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 laughing well you have just sabotaged yourself by just putting a part who is sad in a box and said thank you very much i don't want to look at you so that's not a very healthy choice and a lot of people do uh get misguided towards this sort of thing and say that no but i i'm very good with self care well are you avoiding or it is self care this is the question you need to look at are you numbing out to your feelings or is it actual self care so this is something which you really have to look into then the final one is not enjoying the process the fifth one so well it is sort of it looks like hard to enjoy the process because you are uh you know your situation might look very difficult and you are constantly being triggered and you know things are happening which is challenging but that's again where your faith comes in um like what do you say uh you know in the most difficult times if you know how to be stable and in faith that god has got my back and i'm happy and i choose to be happy so enjoying the process so now when there is a trigger in me or when my twin flame triggers me i'm actually relieved and happy to see the upset because it will move from our union and i can go towards my harmonious union is just otherwise i don't want that sticky yucky thing to be there in our union bothering us i am grateful that okay we saw the upset so but it's not fun i guarantee you it doesn't feel fun like you know it's very too much tension between me and my twin flame and too much like 
oh, okay, push and pull, what do I do? <laughs> like that. But if I sit down, take a pen and paper and mirror, it's over. And me and my twin flame goes into a new place where we share our happiness and love and more of ourselves to each other. So just taking responsibility uh, and, you know, choosing to see that is very, very important. So you need to enjoy the process, like enjoy the low-hanging fruits, like what Jeff sh uh, shares in the TPAS, uh, the Twin Flames Ascen Ascension School. So along with the triggers, you would be manifesting a lot of good stuff. So you need to enjoy those good stuff, all the good things. If you are mirroring regularly, if you're doing the work, you can enjoy the low-hanging fruit. That is like, for example, this tension is going on, this challenge is there, you're moving through it. But there'll be a lot of low-hanging fruit, like I have manifested my life purpose with my twin flame. I have a wonderful team working with me. So, well, I enjoy that. Like I'm like, wow, this is so cool. This area is so cool. But yeah, there is another area which is challenging, which I'm, and I'm moving through it from a place of love and through mirror exercise. So that's called enjoying the process, not, not always sitting in that low energy. Uh, if you choose to sit in the low energy, then only low energy things will come to you. All the high vibrational things won't come to you. So having trust and faith also in this, this process. So when uh, to enjoy the process, key is to have trust and faith that, yeah, I have moved through a thousand blocks. <laughs> Literally, I have moved through a thousand blocks. That's why I have reached here. So just having faith and trust that I have done it before. I'll do it again. And my twin flame never went anywhere in this lifetime or in many other lifetimes. And I literally have proof of that within me. So I don't need any other confirmation apart from that. So that's that that sort of faith, that sort of trust that, yeah, my healing works, right? Having faith and trust in your healing, in your love. Your healing is nothing but through your love. And your love is God. So having faith and trust in that will bring you know, joy to the process, just enjoying the process. So that's the five points. Hope it helped everyone come into union. Thank you so much. God bless.